Hello, and welcome to the Creative Mindset Podcast. My name is Isolde Trachtenberg, and I'm thrilled that you are here. Uh, today is one of my short mini episodes, and I want to talk to you about the importance of movement uh, and creativity. There are some people who think sitting in meditation is the best way. That's great. There are some people who think moving in meditation is the best way. That's great, too. I'm talking about just getting up and doing something. And I'm not a medical health professional. I'm not a workout instructor. I'm not in anything like that. I'm a practical, do-it-yourself kind of person because I think one of the most important things that we can do for ourselves is to maintain our bodies in good health so that we don't put a strain on ourselves and that we don't put a strain on the system, right? I was talking about this to a friend about my neighbor smoking down in the in, in our backyard. And the, the issue for me with that is that he was hacking up a lung between every puff. And I'm thinking to myself, right now is not a good time to be developing bronchitis, pneumonia. I mean, no time is a good time, but let's face it, if you're already coughing like that, this is not a good time to be straining yourself, potentially getting sick, or getting sick enough that you have to go to the hospital where everything is overcrowded, especially here in New York City. So I'm all about taking care of ourselves as much as possible. And my inclination is to spend a lot of time sitting. I, I have, uh, I write, so I sit when I write. I make music, and most of the time I sit when I make music if I'm playing guitar uh, or violin, I end up sitting. I do this podcast, I record voiceovers, a lot of that stuff is, is sort of sedentary. I spend a lot of time hanging out on my bum, as they say. So I've developed this uh, desire, this pretty deep desire to make sure that I move some every day. So one of my techniques is I set a little alarm, and every 25 minutes, I have to get up and I have to move. I have to do something other than where I am. And uh, it, it helps. It helps my body stay, uh, stay limber and flexible. And that's a really good thing. I also, of course, do yoga every day. And I'm going to actually probably talk about yoga for tomorrow's podcast. But, but this is uh, the thing that I want to talk to you about today is something they call high intensity interval training. Now, high intensity, uh uh, I'm not talking about that. I don't want to have anybody strain themselves or hurt themselves. This is something that I've developed for myself, and I have chronic joint issues, so I don't. Um, so I don't do a lot of high impact stuff. This is something you can do in your house for 10 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day if you want to repeat it. And I'm going to go through what it is with you. Uh, with two cans of, uh, two 16 ounce cans of food, right? You don't need any, any equipment at all whatsoever. And I'm going to go through it with you and I'm going to put up a little, uh, image in the show notes so that you can see the list of all the things that I'm doing. That was my husband coughing. I don't know if you heard him. So you don't need, I, I use little two-pound weights, but you can do two 16-ounce cans. That's, that, uh, that's equivalent to one pound. And that's what you've got, right? It's, it's super simple. And I'm going to go through the 12 little exercises with you. It takes almost no time to do, 12 minutes really, because you're going to do the exercise for 45 seconds, and then you're going to stop for 15 and sort of march in place. And then you're going to do the next exercise for 45 seconds. And there's a, a I'm going to put, uh, if you have an iPhone, there's an app, a timer app that you can easily program to give you a little ding, ding, ding. Every 45 to 15 second ratio, it'll just give you a little ding, 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 and you tell it how many times you want it to. Ding, ding, ding. And you know what? If I can share the actual uh, timer, I'll try and figure out how to do that too, because it's been really helpful because that way I don't have to think about it. And I just play dance music and I let the timer go and I follow along with the following little mini workout. And again, don't do anything that that's going to hurt you. This is about none of, no, there's no jumping. There's no nothing like you're just walking, uh, and moving your body, making sure that you stay kind of, uh, again, supple and limber. So here's what you do. First 45 seconds, you march in place and you do little bicep curls with the cans. You just curl the cans up. And then the second 45 seconds, because you'd go 45 seconds for the first one, then 
then rest for 15 seconds. And the second 45 seconds is sort of a, a, a back lunge, if you will. So you're just sort of stepping backwards, nothing too strenuous. Step backwards and, and put the cans back behind you for sort of tricep curls. Then um, the next 45 seconds would be a side step with a military press. And a military press is you just lift the cans over your head and bring them back down to your shoulders. And so with every, if you side step to the right, you're going to lift the cans and bring them back down to your shoulders when you come back to center. And then side step to the left and do the same thing with the cans. Then you do a side press slash pull with hamstring curls. And all you do is you stand with your feet about hip width apart and you, you put the cans out, uh, out at your sides, and then you pull the cans into yourself as you essentially lift one leg and curl the foot back towards your butt, and then you step back down with that foot, and then you do the same thing with the other foot, curling the cans and bringing the cans in and out. Then uh, the next 45 seconds, you march in place, and you uh, it's basically marching in place, and then you push the cans like a clock. You go down to 6 o'clock and bring it up with one step, then to about 8 o'clock, and the next step, and then 10 o'clock in the next step, and then midnight at the next step, and then you do it again, midnight, 10 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and then 6 o'clock as you're marching. Then you do simple hip openers with straight arms, and that one is, uh, you sort of curl your leg, uh, you, you, you bend your, bend at the hip, um, how do I put this, you lift your knee, that's what it is, you lift your knee, and you curl it like you're going around a clock and bring it out to the side, and then you do the same thing with the other leg. And so you just sort of keep curling the knee forward and down, and then the other knee forward and down. And as you're doing that, you're going to lift your, your arms, your cans, uh, your arms holding your cans straight around like a clock in, in time to the hip openers. That was number six. Number seven, you're going to forward dig, which means you're going to step your heel in front and then put it back, and then step your heel in front, the other heel in front, and put it back. And then you're just going to take that can. If you're stepping your left foot, it's going to really stretch your side. If you're stepping with your left foot forward, your left heel forward, you're going to lift the left arm hand, left arm hand, the left arm with the, holding the can, and then bring it down. And you're going to switch off legs. The next one, which is number eight, is just to suff shuffle to the side while holding the cans. Then you're going to do a little what they call a toy soldier. So you're going to stand there. You're going to lift your leg up at the hip, leg straight. And you're going to bring, if you're lifting up your left leg, you're going to bring your right arm down towards that leg, holding the can. And then you're bringing the right arm up and the left leg down. And then you're going to lift the right leg up and bring the left arm down. And you're going to meet each other for that time. And then uh, it, this one is sort of a... A side right leg bent lift. It's kind of a weird. Uh, it's kind of a weird thing, but it works. I promise. <laughs> All you're gonna do is you're gonna stand with one uh, with one hand on your hip and lift the can. Let's say you're standing with your right on your right leg, and your right hand is holding a can, and then you're gonna lift the left hand. And you're going to bring that over your head. And then you're going to sort of bring your knee up to meet your left elbow. So you're just going to bring it, bring your arm down as your knee comes up. And you're going to try and meet your left elbow and your left knee. And if you can't meet them, no big deal. This is about doing some movement. And you do that for 45 seconds. Then you switch arms and sides. You do the same thing on the other side. And then you do a little side lunge with a row. And that side lunge is... Um, is sort of you're stepping out to the side while you're lifting the cans from uh, in front of you up to your chest and then bringing them back down. So you're going to side lunge to one side and then side lunge to the other side. And I, this was, I should give e uh, credit where credit is due. This workout is, is a much dumbed down version and v quite different in some ways than um, Amy's workout. It's called Body by Amy. And her YouTube videos uh, channel is amazing, and uh, I've used it quite a lot. But I've I've found that I like this this workout works really well for me, because it's only like ten to twelve minutes long, and it doesn't take any time to do. And I've been able to. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Too much talking. Wow. And I've been able to. And remember, this is live, real, and unedited, so you get it as it comes. I've been able to keep myself moving 
without hurting myself in any way. And again, don't start any exercise regimen without checking with the doctor. Don't use cans if it's too much for you, but do something that gets your body moving. Even if you walk from one end of your apartment or house to the other, something that moves you every single day will be super helpful. Uh, yeah, and tomorrow I'm going to talk about a really simple yoga workout that I do that might be helpful too. All right, that's it. If you enjoyed this, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, that's it. I love you. Bye.